Hey, welcome to my channel. My name's Nilu. If you haven't been here before, I do a lot of lipstick videos, etc., etc. So subscribe for more. Today I'm doing my project pan update. I did a project pan intro video and a project pan update. I will link both right here. Um, you can click right here to watch the project pan playlist, but this will be update number two. So it's the third video I've posted um, from the intro, the first update, and now the second update talking about my project pan. And I'm actually really excited about this update because I think with my last update, I felt like I didn't make, I hadn't made enough progress. And I think I was a little bit worried about that and a little bit like, oh my God, why am I posting an update when I feel like I haven't used a lot of the products? Um, so I felt kind of guilty, but everyone in the comments was so like kind about it and was like, you know, you need to calm down, like stop freaking out about this. Um, but now in this update, I actually feel like I've started to make a dent in a lot of these products and I can see it. So that really motivates me to keep using them. I, I'm actually like really excited. And the funniest part is I feel like I've fallen in, in love or back in love with a lot of these products, which I felt like I had to force myself to use before and I feel like now I'm actually looking forward to using them. And I feel like I'm actually wanting to reach for them and uh, liking the way they look. Without further ado, let's jump into my Project Pan update number two. The first product in my Project Pan 2019 is the Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in the color Broadest Berry. This I'm actually wearing on my lips right now and it's part of my June lip challenge. So if you haven't seen that video um, intro, I will link it right here. And basically all of June, I'm doing a lip challenge where I use a different lipstick every day. And it's kind of like a mini project pan within my project pan. <laughs> anyway, I did a makeup declutter recently, which I will also link right up here. Um, and I realized I just have way too many lipsticks. So this was in my project pan from the beginning of the year, but I truly had not reached for it. So it is this June lip challenge that made me reach for it. I talked about how I hadn't made enough progress on this. I just really have not reached for it. Um, but now using it, I actually really like the color and I feel like I could totally get more use out of this. Um, I, I have to say, I haven't made a lot of progress. Like this is a deluxe size sample. So there's this is all the product that's in there. Like there's really not much product. So even then I haven't made any progress any significant progress in my opinion. Um, but you know, I feel like there, there are times where I will want to use this more often. And I think that I can make some more progress on it. I think the, the lip challenge is a good move for me personally, at least considering, um, the lipsticks in this project pan, because it's forcing me to reach for them. So I actually really, really like this color. I've always really liked the way that like the purple burgundy maroon shades look with the gray shirt. So after I chose this, I was like, I wanna wear a gray shirt today. But uh, I know that's like a weird combo. I don't know if anyone else thinks about that when they're when they're getting dressed. Like does gray go well with like purpley maroon shades? I think it does. Um, but yeah, like I said, being honest, I haven't made much progress on this. This is the first time I think I've reached for this. Maybe the second time since I started my project pan, but now having used it, I think um, I'm gonna continue to reach for it after this June project um, lip challenge is done because I actually really like it. It's very comfortable, it has a balm-like consistency. It's not the most moisturizing, like it, it's a little bit moisturizing when you put it on, but because it's the, I think it's because it's the intense moisturizing lip color balm, it's more pigmented than the regular balm. Um, so it's not as balmy, like it gets a little drying over time, but Regardless, I really like this. Um, didn't like it till now, truly, until like five minutes ago when I put it on. I was like, damn, I should be using this. So yeah, no progress on this one, but uh, hopefully next time I make a video, I will have made more progress on this. My next lip product is also in my June lip challenge um, because I've also not reached for this. I think I might've reached for it like once, maybe twice in the past like month or so. I have used this one a few times since I started my Project Pan. That's one thing. Like the Clinique Broadest Berry, I feel like I hadn't reached for at all. But this um, I have, and it is Max Lip Glass in the color Cultured. It's a gorgeous pinky, um, like it's a milky pink shade with very, very like micro glitter in it, but it's overall very like creamy. I'm not a fan of like chunky glitters. So I like the consistency of this gloss. And I also really like that Mac lip glosses, lip glasses, don't um, slip around. They're just sticky enough to where I actually have eaten many meals with a lip glass on and nothing has happened, like it's not moved. But I'm also very conscious about my lipstick when I'm eating. So either I wipe it off completely and go ham, or I will uh, 
you know, keep it on and just be very conscientious of it while I'm eating. But this one, I have to say, I have reached for on and off since I started my Project Pan. But within the last couple of months, I think I've only reached for it maybe once or twice. I want to say maybe once. Um, yeah, but th there's a reason I put this in my uh, June lip challenge as well. So again, I will link that video up here if you haven't seen it, my intro video. But it's a great way to keep using these. I am determined to get rid of these two. And it's not that I don't like them. I think in my makeup declutter, I was talking about how I had too many lipsticks and how I was over these. And everyone's like, dude, just stop using them. Like you're making yourself miserable. But I actually feel like I have, there is more room for us to grow together. <laughs> I feel like I can actually continue to use these and enjoy them. So if I do change my mind though, I promise I will not keep using them. If I end up hating them, I will cut them out of my project pan and say goodbye. But um, for now, I'm gonna keep these in my project pan and try to make some more progress. Okay, now on to the products that I feel like I've actually made progress on. I'm also very proud of these products. The first one which I'm wearing right now is the Laura Mercier Translucent, it's a, sorry, no, Secret Brightening Powder, number one. Um, it is a very silica heavy, um, blurring type of powder. It is more of like a setting powder. Um, it's not heavy, it's, it doesn't have oil control, but it does blur very well and secret brightening, like it really does brighten. So it, it reminds me a lot of the um, Makeup Forever HD powder. It will give you flashback if you use too much. I'm actually wearing this right now because my skin is kind of a hormonal mess at, this, at the moment. So I just wanted some blurring action going on so you can't see what's really happening under these lights. The reason I originally bought this is because I used to set my concealer every single day. I use under eye concealer every single day no matter what, but I used to set my under eye concealer um, back in the day and then I stopped doing that because I realized I have really dry under eyes like I have oily eyelids but very dry under eyes and just setting my under eyes were, was just making my my skin miserable like it just it looked weird at the end of the day I couldn't reapply over the powder um, it, I just didn't like it so that's why I stopped using this it's because not because I didn't like the product but because I had no actual like purpose for it like the reason that I purchased it was no longer valid so I stopped using it um, but now I'm using it when I film because it's nice to like just blur the T-zone. I just have a really oily um, T-zone, huge pores, etc. which I'm sure we all do, like that's just skin. But sometimes in the videos I'm like, let me just uh, pat this on. It's just nice for filming or any other time you want to be blurry. <laughs> sometimes if I'm just having like a really bad skin day, it's nice to just blur. You feel like a little bit better about it, you know? I don't use any silicone based primers or anything, so I don't have that like blurring action going on underneath my makeup. So it's nice to set it with a little blurring action. I do think since I started using this in videos, I've made quite decent progress on it. So I'm actually pretty proud of this one. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll make a little bit more progress and can finish it up by the end of the year. The next product I'm also wearing on my face right now and it's the Clinique blush in a glow. Let me get this out of the, out of the packaging because it's kind of a hot mess. Um, I have made I have made serious progress on this baby. Like you can kind of see from here, but uh, there's a huge dent in it and it looks like I'm gonna hit pan soon, which makes me super happy. I was a huge fan of this blush for so long. It was my favorite blush of all time and I still really love it, but I fell out of love with it for a moment. And even in that makeup declutter, I think I was just going through like a salty makeup phase because I was talking smack in that makeup declutter. I was like, I'm over this blush, but no, I really like this blush. It's not my favorite blush of all time anymore, but I still love it and I've been using it because I've wanted to reach for it almost every single day lately, which is really weird. But overall, I've made a lot of progress since I started this um, project pan, and I'm actually very proud of the progress I've made with this product. A part of me is actually kind of like sad. I'm like, wow, I'm gonna have to repurchase this or like never use it again once I'm done. It kind of makes me sad. So I think I've fallen back in love with, with this, which is good, but I've also made a lot of really good progress. Um, I don't know, blushes are just so hard to use. Pressed powder products in general, especially ones that are super pigmented, I feel like they're so hard to use up. Um, so I don't know, I hope I can finish this by the end of the year, but we'll see. At, at least, I know I'll hit pan at least by the end of the year, so we will continue with this progress. I'll keep you updated. The next product is Benefit What's Up. This is a, a deluxe size sample. I have made tons of progress on this, I think, for me at least. Um, almost halfway, I wanna say. I wanna say I'm almost halfway. I use this almost every single day. I'm wearing it right now. It's a great highlight. I like how precise you can be, especially because it's a 
a small like deluxe size. I, I could just put it like right on my cupid's bow and just blend it out a little bit. Otherwise, I will just apply it to my fingers and pat it into my cheekbone or um, the tip of my nose, whatever I feel like doing with it. But yeah, I've made a lot of really good progress on this. I have a full size <laughs> version of this as well, uh, which I think I talked about in my last project pan, but like why? I, I still don't understand why I went out and bought the full size when I already had the deluxe size for years and I hadn't finished it. Like, it's just so weird. I don't know what my thought process was. Like, Milu, were you, were you okay? <laughs> Anyway, I have made a lot of really good progress and I am using this pretty much every single day. I put this on my on my counter, on my little makeup tray and I really reach for it all the time. Um, yeah. Benefit What's Up Deluxe size. The next product, well last product in my project pan is this Bobbi Brown Sheer Finish Pressed Powder in Pale Yellow. I am really happy with the progress I'm making on this. I stopped using this for a little while because I thought it was breaking me out, but I actually don't think it was this. Um, I've made a lot of progress on this. I hit pan on this a long time ago, I think before I even started my project pan, but I'm getting around it and getting to the corners. So I'm hoping to be able to finish this up by the end of the year. And I think definitely I will because especially in the winter time, this is great because it's a, a lighter setting powder. It, it, it's not as oil controlly, uh, but right now it's so humid in Houston. It's summertime, so it's hot. It's really humid. So I've been reaching for my big uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder over this one, or the Laura Mercier secret branding powder. Like between these two, I don't really reach for them as much as I do my Laura Mercier straight up setting powder because it's it's really good with oil control. Um, but I do think I've made a good amount of progress since my last update and then especially since the very beginning of my project pan this year. I definitely wouldn't repurchase this product. I just don't feel like it's a very necessary product in my arsenal. I used to really like it because I thought the pale yellow helped with my skin redness. But um, honestly, I've kind of modified my diet a little bit and that has helped more with my redness than powder will ever do. <laughs> so overall, I'm really happy with the progress I've made. Um, I think I will definitely be able to finish it up um, by the end of the year. I definitely don't reach for this every day, like I said, but good enough amount to where I'm making some good progress on it. So that was it, my friends. That was my Project Pan six month update. I'm really excited. I'm actually like more motivated than I've ever been with this Project Pan. I think I was super motivated when I first started and then I kind of got a little bit like, damn, like I'm forcing myself to use these products. So I don't want to do it because I'm all rebelling against myself, but I'm definitely super motivated right now and I'm really loving these products. So. Please subscribe to my channel so you can follow along with the rest of my project pan and be sure to check out my June lip challenge if you have not already. It's super exciting. I'm gonna post a mid-month update soon and then um, a final update on June 30th with what lipsticks I'm decluttering, what lipsticks I've decided to keep. So I'm really excited about that. And um, I will check in probably in a month or two with another project pan update. Obviously I'll be posting other videos <laughs> between that time, between now and then, but um, in terms of Project Pan, I'll check in like maybe like two or three months just to give you another, another update. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great, great day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.